Good morning, Mr. Mike. Morning. Thank you so much for opening the door. Yeah. Good morning, Miss Sue. And we are here in Pastor's office. Morning, Pastor. Well, good morning. Good morning, church. It's good to see you today. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I uh, know that we haven't met together in a couple weeks now, and I want you to know that your church facility and building is safe and secure and everything's still there. You haven't been to your Sunday school class. We haven't been to the worship center. We just haven't met together. So come on, join me on the tour. Uh, let's take a little walk down the hall, and we'll make sure everything is the way it should be. All right, so here we are in the hallway outside my office. Let's go towards the foyer. Oh, like, let's stop for a minute. Look over here. Okay, the coffee pots are still there. That's a good sign. So the coffee will still be fresh when we get to meet together again. Uh, literature, if you usually get like a home life or a senior living magazine or parenting teens, they're in the church office. You can call to get one of those. Look, here we are in the foyer now, outside the worship center. And this is where the prayer team usually gathers Monday through Friday. And they're lifting you up and uh, all the prayer cards that are turned in on Sundays that they're praying for you. But Bob Carricker and crew may not be here now, but rest assured they are still praying for you. So let's go on in the worship center. So here we are. A lot of empty pews and very echoey. If you would look up front, we've got the Easter banners up. They've been up for a couple weeks or so. And it's definitely spring outside. They look beautiful. Notice we've got this black backdrop up on the stage. That's normally not there. It's kind of concealing the drums right now. But we've been using that for uh, filming and, and things like that. And actually, we had a wedding here last Friday morning with a handful of people. When my daughter got married and we we covered the drums with that as well well congratulations pastor yes thank you everyone say hi to pastor jc he's filming for us today let's go back to the back of the worship center oh here's the cross uh, it's beautifully decorated around with flowers and i know many of you like to come and pray here sometimes on sunday it's still there it hasn't gone anywhere but in the back of the worship center, we have a, a large Sunday school class that meets back there. Let's make sure that room still, still exists. Nothing has happened to it. So. Let me turn the light on for you. All right, so we have a table full of Sunday school literature. But Lord willing, soon there'll be a table full of people here as well. But notice, look, look over here. I need to come in here more often. We've got honey buns, pecan spin wheels, a box full of mini muffins, and Louisiana hot sauce. These people are tough. I guess that goes with the honey buns. You know, if this goes on too much longer, we may have to eat these snacks just so they don't go bad. We're just thinking of you and your Sunday school class. Don't want you to have spoiled snacks. Well, everything looks like it's in order, so let's go back out front for a moment. I'll hit the light switch. Oops. I'm glad you didn't fall down those steps, Pastor. All right, let's go out to the foyer. Going through the worship center again. We miss you, church family, and we're praying for you. I hope you know that. If you have a prayer need, please feel free to text me, call the church office, or email the church through the website, and we'll be praying for you. Well, have a seat for a minute. Here we are in the foyer. A lot of people use this space. a good place to talk in the fellowship. And you know, one thing that you noticed is missing from the building is you. And I can't wait till we can finally meet again as a church family in person. But until then, we'll continue to meet virtually through the internet and for words of encouragement and teaching and singing and praise and worship and prayer. 
Uh, but today, I want to tell you a secret. Are you ready? This is not the church. It's a beautiful building. God's blessed us with a great facility. But this is not the church. We are the church. And I want to read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and tell you what the Apostle Paul says about the church. Now, here in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, Paul is talking to the church in Corinth and they have a lot of dysfunction in that church. And one of the things that they've been arguing over is who is their spiritual leader? One says Paul, one says Apollos, and, and apparently there was some divide in the congregation over that. So Paul is talking about his role as an apostle and Apollos' uh, role as well. And he says, you know, we are mere servants. So we pick up with that thought in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, beginning with verse 7. And he's talking about his role as a worker of the Lord. So he says, so neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. Notice what he called us, not this. He called the people God's field, God's building. And he continues on with that a few verses later, and he says this, do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Isn't that awesome, folks? As we think about that today, we may not be able to meet together in this building that God has given us, but we are still the church. We are God's building. And every one of us that know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So any time that we gather together, whether that's in person or even through the internet, we are gathering as the church. And we are gathering and the Holy Spirit of God is with us. And so do not be discouraged, but continue in your hope. And we will, Lord willing, be together soon. I read this quote by A.W. Tozer, and it says this, keeping a Christian from entering the church sanctuary and you have not in the least hindered his worship. We carry our sanctuary with us. We never leave it. And aren't you thankful for that? So be encouraged today with God's word and everything at the church building in Anna Heights is doing fine. And please pray for our daycare who's working under an emergency license right now, caring for necessary workers, and we'll be praying for you as well. So let's pray and we'll close. Father, we thank you for this day. I thank you for uh, our daycare workers and our daycare director. And I pray, God, as they are ministering to these kids of necessary workers, that you would keep them safe and that you would keep them healthy. And Lord, I pray uh, for our church family, those that are serving in health care especially. Uh, I know it's a nervous time, God. Protect their lives, protect their safeties, uh, their safety, and protect their families, God, uh, from harm and this virus. And I want to pray for my church family, God, that they would not be discouraged, but Lord, they would be encouraged knowing that we are still the church, no matter where we gather, and that you are with us, and that you have given us your Holy Spirit to bind us together. So we thank you for the day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, God bless you, family. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.